and welcome to today's gold market update and charts of the day it's monday the 27th of february mike smith senior analyst of gold markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today u.s markets close lower on friday to post the worst week over the year so far the pc index inflation number which is one of the fed's favorite numbers to have a look at was slightly higher than expected there was a couple of the fed members speaking after that number was released and they also suggested an aggressive approach to rate hikes going forward perhaps as much as 0.5 percent next time the fed meet also expecting some movement in the japanese yen we've got the new boj governor speaking and he is likely to address what's going to happen to the yen going forward so expect some significant movement in that and a bit of caution before that speech happens U.S. futures are just over neutral in early Asian trading and Asian indices are following that weak lead from the U.S. on Friday. The ASX was down around 1.5% at its low. It has improved slightly. It's still down 1.1%. The Nikkei is down about, about a third of 1%. Material stocks are dragging on the index again, as they did towards the back end of last week. New European equity futures are pointed to a slightly negative open, although again they've improved. And the VIX is trading back above the key 20 level, around about 21 in this morning's Asian session. The US dollar smashed through the 200 MA on Friday and highs not seen since November. A uh, little weaker today, perhaps. Maybe a bit of profit taking going on. Gold looks as though it continues to head downwards. Looks as though 1800 is on the cards. And copper has breached that important $4 level, although there is some recovery in Asia this morning. Oil also moved higher on Friday and ended the week pretty neutral as to uh, compared to where it started. Bitcoin also breached 200 AMA to the downside on Friday, but recovered a little bit towards the back end of the session. Uh, 24,000 looks as though it's the key level for Bitcoin. And earnings season continues on the ASX. There is a few stragglers in the US. Zoom is probably notable today. And as we've said, we had a speech, US durable goods and your Eurozone business climate, the day's highlights. A couple of charts to keep an eye on that caught our eye this morning. If we look at the Aussie US, this is a 30 minute chart and you can see that big drop that happened on Friday with that USD strength. We did find a bottom towards the middle of the US session and you can see here we've got some recovery. A couple of key levels to keep an eye on, possibly around about this 16, possibly around this 67.50 level uh, would be of interest and then 50 and then 68 you can see there we had a fairly straight down run on friday we could see a recovery of that if we get some usd selling so that's one to keep an eye on on the short term chart on the asx uh, in the call space new hope corp looks interesting we bounced off the 200 ma last week and we are looking to move possibly higher again today though we have given up a little bit of the early gains Put in a key level at around about 577 on this. Uh, so this may not happen today, but possibly worth keeping an eye on over the next couple of days. Certainly in the first instance, you wouldn't be surprised to see it back up towards this 630 level, which would be a gain of around about 9%. But this is a volatile stock. So just bear that in mind when you're making your decisions. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.